Today, I have two grocery hauls, one meal plan. What's up you guys? Happy Monday. Welcome back to another grocery haul and meal planning video for my family of six. And in today's video, I have a Target and a Walmart grocery pickup. So I think I spent roughly about $270 between both stores. I spent $70 at Target's grocery pickup and then about $197 in a Walmart's grocery pickup. Now there were some substitutions and then a few things I couldn't get. Like you guys, I couldn't get wings. How am I supposed to get through Sunday Super Bowl with no wings? I don't know. I'm going to have to try. I have other stuff planned, but to me, it's just, it's not game day without some good old fashioned chicken wings, but I wasn't able to get that. But besides that, for the most part, I had a pretty successful trip to Walmart. So I'm going to take you down to the counter and share with you what I got. Stay tuned to the end when you see what I was able to score at Walmart. It's one of the last things that I shared, but I am so excited about it because I think I've been looking for it for maybe nine months or so, and I finally got it. So it was definitely something super exciting for me. Make sure you take a guess first in the comments below and see if you can guess right what I was able to get and then let me know if you got it right but I know I'm super excited so let me take you down to the counter I'll share with you what I got at Target what I got at Walmart and then we'll get into this week's meal plan all right, you guys, so I have like the smallest Target pickup I've ever done, and it's completely random because it's toys and cat food, but I had to share this with you guys because you have to see something super funny. So both of my little kids had a gift card to Target from Christmas time, so I just put it in my phone and I got to use it towards my purchase. So Maya wanted something, LOL, and so I got her this LOL surprise confetti under wraps. It says it's one set and 15 surprises. So there's two dolls in there and accessories is what I'm looking at, I guess. So she's gonna have fun unboxing this. This has been her new obsession is LOL and this came after Christmas. So had I had known, I would have done stuff for Christmas, LOL, but she never told me. So at least that's what we'll use her gift card for. So used her gift card towards that. And then Mason wanted something Nerf, but he has tons of Nerf guns and stuff. And so I saw the digital Target and I thought this would be really awesome. This was only 20 bucks and I thought that was perfect because it's lights up. And so it also has three players so you can shoot and it'll record who's playing and their scores and what targets they hit and their points. So I thought that would be fun for all three kids, even if they want to just play together and have like a Nerf war and they could use the target. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And this was, I think was like $12.99 or something like that. So I got that. And then I got Fancy Feast because it was on sale through Chewy.com and I'll never do it again. I started him on the Blue Buffalo and then I got the Fancy Feast because it was on sale and that was a mistake. It's so oily and greasy and I'm just not really a fan. These are definitely pricey, but I feel like it's just better quality for him. And so these are the Blue Buffalo for Kitten Wilderness line and this is the salmon recipe and they're $1.39 a piece. So they're definitely pricey because he has roughly about one a day. So, you know, this it adds up pretty quick, but I got him five of those and then I had ordered five of these, but when I was putting it out, I just noticed that they gave me like an adult one. So this one is the same thing, the Blue Buffalo for Kittens Wilderness line, and this one is the chicken recipe, but then they gave me a duck recipe, and this says rich protein grain free, but you can see the cat on there is bigger because this one isn't for kittens, so I have to see if he's allowed to have that. If not, I'll just hold it until he's old enough. And then, hooray, they had the Blue Buffalo bag back in stock. This is the five pound bag. So this should last me a long time because the three and a half pound bag has been lasting me roughly about a month. So this should last a while. I was glad to see it, but you guys, he missed this one so much. He's not digging the Perina one that we have. We're almost done with it. But look what he did in the middle of the night. Do you see that? This little kitten ate through the stinking bag and when I woke up this morning it was tipped over and he was eating out of it so he literally ate 
through this plastic while I was sleeping to get to this bag. So I should have filmed this last night when I first picked this up and put everything away, but I had no idea he was going to get into that. But needless to say, he did. And this entire... This was pretty pricey, um, just because that was kind of expensive. And then, like I said, these were pretty expensive. I think just what you see here was roughly about $70 or so, $69 and change. So pretty small, but yet expensive Target haul. All right, now on to Walmart. All right, you guys, so there's your quick little overview. That there on the counter and that down there is what I spent. I think my receipt came back at $197 at Walmart and it's a whole variety of different things. So we're gonna get right into it because I did everything I could to squeeze it on the table the best I could, but it's in kind of tight. So, all right, over here in the corner, I did go ahead and get the Velveeta in the Queso Blanco. I want to make queso to bring to Lauren and drop off for her for her virtual baby shower tomorrow and I know that she likes the white kind of queso and there's just nothing better than Velveeta you can try all you want but just making your own isn't the same with as creamy as this comes out so I went ahead and got this as well as a can of Rotel and I get the one with lime and cilantro it's such a nice flavor to add into when you're doing a queso so I grabbed that I went ahead and finished off my vegetable oil this weekend doing some baking, so I need to replace it. So I got that. I don't know what made me pick this up for my husband. Maybe I'll put it away for Valentine's Day. I probably should because this is such a treat. He seriously loves cheese in a can. And if you guys are an OG, then you know that I usually buy this for Daryl during holiday time. I did not get it for him for Christmas this year. I don't even know the, I don't know if I've bought it since I lived in Texas. That's how long it's been. So I went ahead and grabbed that for him as a special treat. So I got that. And then speaking of special treats, I got the raw shrimp the peeled deveined tail on in the colossal because we're going to do some bacon wrapped teriyaki shrimp you guys should have actually seen that this past weekend in a food for dudes done dudette style because I kind of had to step in for my husband for his voiceover but if you guys missed it I'll link it up above I know it's kind of past the Super Bowl now but it's still good for an easy appetizer if you're looking for just something quick and easy if you do appetizer night we shared three really super easy and dude foolproof recipes and one of them involved shrimp and while I was editing it back I was like whoa this stuff is so delicious looking that I want to recreate it because I remember remember how good it was so I went ahead and got that so I can add this to our menu for Super Bowl picked up some of the nature's path organic berry strawberry flavored pop tarts for the little kids I got some of the Taco Bell crunchy tacos like the taco dinner kit it comes with 12 shells the mild sauce and then some Taco Bell seasoning just for taco night this week I got some avocado cilantro and lime triscuits for Lauren's little charcuterie board and then I also picked up some of the white cheddar cheese crackers for my husband. It's just a great value knockoff of Cheez-Its, but he loves that. Speaking of great value knockoffs, these are the butter rounds. They're just like Ritz crackers. I forgot to get the butter rounds that we absolutely love from Trader Joe's. And so I just got the great value ones just to subsidize for an extra cracker. I got my a Snack Factory Pretzel Crips in the everything deli style. I love these, they are so delicious with legitimately everything, you guys. You can do savory like hummus or you can even do sweet. I did a brownie batter dip that I shared in Super Bowl recipes that I put up last week. So I'll link that video up above for you guys as well if you wanna go ahead and check that out. But I actually use these pretzel crisps to eat that brownie batter dip and it was still so good that salty and sweet absolutely delicious so i got those i got the late july organic sea salt thin and crispy chips i'm just going to go ahead and drop that whole bag off to lauren when i give her her guacamole and her queso i thought i would give her those and then for super bowl i just went ahead and got us the great value tortilla chips in the bowls those are like the knockoffs of the tostito scoops so I got the knockoffs for us and then the good ones to give to Lauren. So let's go all the way back up front. So I got three of the Jimmy Dean regular premium pork ground sausage. So I have tried 
everywhere to find this and I have not been able to find ground sausage. I'm not sure if there's some kind of shortage right now or something, but I use this for a lot of things and I have some meal prep coming up. You guys should have seen a video this past weekend, if not yesterday, the day before, but you guys should have seen, hopefully, fingers crossed, you saw a meal prep video, but in the next one, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of these like pancake sausage breakfast cups. I've made them before and I'm pretty sure I filmed them, so if I can find it, I'll link it, but Jake loved them and he's been really back into breakfast since I've been encouraging him to eat better. And so I said, you need to eat in the morning so that when you come down in the afternoon for lunch, you're not ravished and then you're grabbing things that you shouldn't even be eating while you're waiting for your lunch tray. Like I want him to be able to be set up for success all day and I really want him to go back to eating breakfast, but he's just not a huge breakfast eater. If it's not Pop-Tarts, then it's cereal. Those are the only things that he'll gravitate to. And it's all crappy cereal and crappy Pop-Tarts, like not even the good kind or the better kind. It's all like the crap ones. So I got a bunch of sausage, one for like sauce and things, because like I said, I haven't been able to find it, but also to go ahead and make Jake some meal prep that's good for him like i even bought pizza dough you guys will see in a second because i'm gonna make him breakfast pizza i know he loves breakfast pizza but he loves it with ham and sausage and so if i make it i know he'll eat it so that's what i bought all that sausage for i'm sure you guys needed to hear me talk about that for a whole minute but you know you guys love me right thank you um all right i shared this on my instagram if you guys are not following me on instagram 50 shades of mom but i got this in a walmart beauty box and it came with full, four different kinds and it was like a multivitamin, a HERS, a calcium, like a calcium boost, and then an energy one. And I used every single one of them every single morning for four days because they're only 25 calories and I think they're only two carbs, I think it was, but they taste like a little mini Snickers bar. So you get a little mini Snickers every day and you're getting your daily vitamins. Who the heck argues with that? Certainly not me. So if you guys are looking for a new vitamin and you love Love yourself some chocolate candy and looking for a low calorie low sugar treat let my bite multivitamins do the trick and this is a non-spons video but i'm just letting you know you guys that these were the bomb.com and i went ahead and got myself a full container of them so i got that Here's the soft tortilla mini bowls, the flour kind, 12 of them, and that's also for taco night. I got a big old five pound bag of brown rice for our occasional dinners and for the puppies for their food. I got big giant bag of these giant campfire roasting marshmallows. I only need a few of them, maybe like five or six of them, but I'm gonna dunk these half in chocolate and then put them on a stick, wrap them in cellophane, and then give them to Lauren as part of her like dessert tray. I'm sure my kids will not complain about the residuals, but of course there will be residuals. I'll get to the Oreos in just a second. I'm gonna have to go around, like it's almost impossible to reach over this huge counter. Uh, all right, I also went ahead and got the Pepperidge Farm Top Sliced Hot Dog Buns. We're gonna do hot dogs this coming up a meal plan. I did get a Hershey's Simply Five Chocolate Syrup. We absolutely love this for our chocolate milk. I got some of the Vlasic Kosher Dill Pickle Spears for all of my pickle lovers in the house. Here is the teriyaki sauce. I got the P.F. Chang kind, and that's gonna be for that bacon-wrapped teriyaki shrimp. I got four of the pizza crust, and this is also for a ton of things. So in that video, the Food for Dudes slash Dudettes video, my husband also did a barbecue chicken stromboli, which I just remember how fabulous that that was. And if not for Super Bowl, we are doing a rotisserie chicken this week. So with the leftovers, I can just cook up one of those for lunch on a day when my husband's off because I know how much he loves stromboli and especially that barbecue chicken one. He was all over it and it's super, super easy to make. So I picked up some pizza crust for that. I mentioned also the pizza crust for the um, breakfast pizza and then I made ziti this week and I made a big batch of the filling and now I have some left over which would be perfect for calzone so I went ahead and got pizza crust maybe for lunch tomorrow or today or something we'll go ahead and use the rest of that filling and have some calzone so lots of use for the pizza crust and the great value one for the price works perfectly fine I've used it many of times so picked that up 
I got some of the Agri Value string cheese. Now my kids love cheese sticks. They have them quite often as a snack or I use them on their lunch tray when we do like an adult lunchable kind of thing. But I'm also gonna use some of these to make homemade mozzarella sticks. I cut them in half and make like, you know, that's pretty much the size of the mozzarella stick is half of one of these cheese sticks. You guys asked if I would share that recipe, so I'm gonna share that with you. I'm putting together a weekend prep video that will not include the breakfast stuff. That's a whole separate one. This is just a video of me prepping for Super Bowl and for Lauren's shower, like the desserts I'm making for her, the queso, the guacamole, her charcuterie board, all of that that'll be in a video that i'm going to share with you this upcoming week where you'll go ahead and see me prep all the stuff for super bowl and lauren's party and this will be one of them so keep an eye out for that if you guys are looking forward to a really easy mozzarella stick recipe and then i just got the 12 slices great value sliced sharp cheddar cheese because i haven't gone to heb you guys i've been you know how i feel about their pickup and i don't want to go inside but i really miss my boar's head cheese but this is just while i'm going i might as well just get the convenient cheese so i picked that up i got two two packs of the cream cheese because sam's didn't have philly like they normally do and i went to costco and i don't like costco's cream cheese and i am going next week to sam's club so if they have it i'll just pick it up because it never goes to waste and cream cheese unopened has a super long shelf life but i use a lot of these for like dips and stuff and cooking like tonight i'm making Making alfredo and one of these is gone like i use one whole block just for alfredo and i'll use one block and a half for dips on super bowl so you're already down to just you know a block and a half so i just grabbed the two two packs for now and then i got some heavy whipping cream i need that for my alfredo tonight i got my husband his favorite coffee creamer that's the great value of french vanilla the half gallon container this is under four dollars so it's a no-brainer and then I got some coffee creamer for Paul and I. So I got the Hershey's chocolate caramel. And then I got the coffee made coconut cream. I did get some meals for Jake. I always pick them up roughly about two a week or two every other week because I don't do Walmart every week. So whenever I do Walmart, I pick them up a few. And this is the Banquet Mega Bowls in the Buffalo style mac and cheese. And then this is the Marie Collanders in the creamy Vermont mac and cheese. So just two simple meals he can cook up for himself. I did get the bird's eye crispy green beans. This just remember, reminds me of TGI Fridays and I absolutely loved their crispy green beans and it's perfect for when you're doing appetizers. So I'll add that to Super Bowl as well as that. Okay. I just need to treat myself. I've gotten these before. I'm pretty sure it's been like a good year since I've gotten them, but this is Zaps, you guys. Hello, my favorite chips on the planet, and it is voodoo battered fried pickles that I'm just gonna go ahead and throw into the air fryer, and that'll be my favorite treat of Super Bowl with some of my homemade ranch. Like, yes, talk to me, talk to me. So that sounds absolutely delicious. Back up front, getting into our produce. I know I did that kind of backwards. Usually the produce is on the other side, but this was so much to unpack. I was trying to do it quickly. So I got a five pound bag of the Simply Perfect yellow potatoes. I got one small bag of baby carrots, two kiwi, that's for the fruit portion of Lauren's little board, some green onions, of course, just like every other week, some celery hearts. I need that, especially with buffalo wings and stuff, which hopefully I can find. Marissa said she has some in her freezer, so she will give them to me if I can't find any, which is good because how can you have a Super Bowl without wings? Okay, I'm over it. All right, moving on. So I got Mason another bag of Gala apples because he's already almost through the bag of apples that we got from Costco, and I just went less than a week ago so my kid definitely loves his apples i picked up a pineapple so i can dunk some of this in chocolate as well as put some fresh for both us for super bowl and for lauren's little board some fresh broccoli down here for the same thing just four bananas mason's the only one really who eats them nowadays so i just got four for the week i got one thing of lettuce which is just three of the romaine hearts they do not do Campari tomatoes anymore on the pickup. It says not for curbside pickup. So I can't tell you what's going on with the curbside pickup. It's getting a little crazy. And I thought we were over that, but apparently not. So I went ahead and just got four of these vine ripe tomatoes just to use more like for sandwiches and stuff. 
I got one bag of yellow onions. They did not have my elephant garlic, so I didn't get that, but I did get four avocados and they're not even close to being ripe. Like these things are hard as a rock. So how I'm gonna get them to use them for guacamole for tomorrow, I don't even know. So I, she might not end up with guacamole. Like I might not have guacamole for two weeks as hard as these feel. So we'll see what I can do with those in a brown paper bag overnight. Stay tuned. You guys will see how that worked out. I got one red onion because I use a lot of it in my guacamole and I only have like a small wedge like this big left. But if I don't make guacamole, then I'll just be up an onion. Not a big deal. I uh, got the big, how many pounds is this? five pound bag of the crinkle cut great value french fries just to go ahead and have in the freezer i have so many poutine gravies that you guys have sent me now that are in my cabinet that my husband needs some on authentic poutine and i have not made it yet so it is on the list for things to make here's was one of my substitutions i just got the great value chicken patties they didn't have it so they substituted me the tyson that's definitely in my favor so i will take it I did go ahead and get the Kellogg's Eggo Mini Cinnamon Toast Waffles. Now I make my own waffles, but these are the only minis that I could find. And to make chicken and waffles for Super Bowl, I wanted the small tiny ones so I can use the little tiny Chick-fil-A like nuggets and sandwich them in between with a toothpick and call a day. So I went ahead and got these. We've used that for that before and I know that it works. So grabbed those for that. Back here, I don't think I share with you guys that we got our great value 100% honey crisp style apple juice. We love that. And then last but not least, you guys, I have a leaning tower of Oreos. So why so many Oreos, Kira? You don't buy Oreos like that. I know, there's a reason. So these are for Lauren and they actually feel like they've been dropped. So I don't know how that's gonna go over, but I wanted to dunk these in the blue chocolate that I have and put some chocolate covered Oreos. Like I was gonna do chocolate covered strawberries, the marshmallows, Oreos. I have pretzel rods left over from last two weeks ago. I was gonna put them in my Super Bowl video and share with you guys how I make the pretzel rod look like a football dunked in chocolate with white laces and stuff, but I never ended up doing that. So maybe I'll share that with you and I'll do that in the Super Bowl one coming up, but I never ended up doing that so I still have pretzel rods and the strawberries and the cookies and the marshmallows and then I was going to make brownies and chocolate chip cookies and I thought that would be a nice variety of a little dessert platter for her so I didn't want to go ahead and buy a whole big thing of Oreos just to dunk some of hers in chocolate because my family if there's Oreos in here they will devour the whole box so I got this and but again it feels really crummy so I hope they're not all broken because that will be a problem but while I was searching for those Oreos I found these so it's a fudge covered dark chocolate Oreos so it's a dark chocolate filled Oreo covered in dark chocolate <sighs> I had to stop and take a breath for a minute because I don't think there's a person in this house who wouldn't eat this except maybe Mason because Mason's more of a vanilla person than chocolate. Otherwise, every other single person in my house would seriously salivate for this cookie. And I don't believe that there's a whole lot in there. It says serving size one cookie and it says serving size 12. So there's only 12 of these cookies. So yeah, this... This wouldn't last. We're going to open the box and it's going to be gone. But this is, I thought, would be such a special treat because I've not ever seen these before. I've seen, like, the chocolate-covered regular Oreos. And I've seen the white chocolate-covered Oreos. I get those for my brother every year for Christmas. But dark chocolate on dark chocolate Oreos? I can't even speak. I'm tongue-tied. Yeah, that sounded really good. And then these... I don't really know if she's watching or not. Hopefully she's not. She did the same thing to me in her grocery haul, but I am doing a box swap with my girl up in Canada, Vanessa from Vanessa White Randomness. And in Canada, they cannot get different kinds of Oreos. She told me they have plain and birthday cake. And I was like, plain and birthday cake? We got like 36 different kinds in the US. We even have Lady Gaga ones that just came out. Like, what are you talking about? And she said, nope, we can get like double stuff and birthday cake and plain. And I was like, yeah, no. So I went on to see what I can find her and I found the peanut butter flavored cream. I thought hopefully they would like that. I don't know, I think she gets something with peanut butter. No, maybe her Vashon cakes that she gets aren't peanut butter. I don't know. 
I saw these and I thought she would like them. And then, so I got the family size of both because, you know, how often do I get the chance to send a package to Canada? And then chocolate marshmallow Oreo. Chocolate marshmallow Oreos, you guys. I don't know, that sounded so, so good. So I picked up both of those to send to her for her family to enjoy some Oreo cookies from the States. I mean, I have a bunch of other stuff going for her as well, but that was just one of her treats. But now, you guys, let's go back over to the best part. Are you ready? All right, we covered all of the groceries on the table. Now let's go to the best part. Are you ready? Are you sitting down? Are you breathing? Okay, good. Take that deep breath and then <gasps> Lysol laundry sanitizer. Do you see it? Someone said to me, Kira, just put it in your cart every time and one day you'll get it. And look, today got it. I'm so excited, you guys. This says kills cold and flu viruses. And you know, my husband goes out and works every single day. Can I help you, ma'am? <laughs> Can I finish? Thank you so much. And I want to be able to wash his uniforms in something sanitizing. Like he wears slacks and shoes and a button up shirt every single day, but he's still exposed to people. And I hate that. And I want to be able to wash his clothes in a sanitizing something. And I know people have suggested other things, but I've heard that this is seriously the best. And I finally got it in the crisp linen scent. So thumbs up right now on this video, round of applause, Lysol laundry sanitizer. Yes, that's right. Um, uh, and then I did just get the Great Value Ultra Strong Paper Towels. I just got the two-pack roll, but it's a double, so it says it serves as four. But we don't use a whole lot of paper towels in this house. It'll probably take me... We go through maybe one roll of paper towels every other week because I use rags and stuff that we wash in the wash machine to wipe countertops and stuff. So we're just not really big on using paper towels, but I did pick up some because every once in a while you need some paper towels. All right. You guys, that was my $197. Let's get into the meal plan. All right, you guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, February the 8th through Sunday, February the 14th, which of course is a Valentine's Day. So you can see with my stickers, that I was pretty heavy on the hearts, of course, because it's Valentine's Day. I love my cool little didn't get a hangover sticker on the day after Super Bowl. And of course, thanks to Gail, I have tons of cute little other stickers to decorate. So this is very therapeutic for me if you guys are new. Um, all right, so for Monday, the day you guys are seeing this, we're doing leftovers. There's going to be tons of leftovers from all the food that I'm planning, no chicken wings, but there will still be enough food that we will be able to do some kind of leftovers on Monday. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do for that day. And then on Tuesday, we're going to do a good old fashioned taco Tuesday. Now I wasn't able to use those avocados to make that guacamole for Lauren. They are just too hard. So I will be able to use it for taco Tuesday and we'll have tacos and there's still leftover queso from Super Bowl. So that will be more than enough for a fun Tuesday. On Wednesday, we're going to keep it plain and simple and easy and do some hot dogs with some fruit and some mac and cheese, like good old easy hump day meal. Hopping over to a Thursday, I'm going to make a rotisserie chicken. It's like time to clean out my big Kasori toaster oven. It's starting to see better days. But when you do the rotisserie chicken, it does make a bit of a mess. And so I like to do the rotisserie chicken when I know I have to clean it because then it's going to get it even dirtier and then I'll give it a really good once over. So I'm going to do that rotisserie chicken and then whatever we have left over, like I said, I'll use for that barbecue stromboli. And then we're going to do that with some kind of rice. I'm not sure yet what what kind of rice I think pork fried rice and I have some of those pork chops that I got left over from Costco I separated some and made some for pork chops and then some for pork fried rice I know it's kind of weird to do pork fried rice with a rotisserie chicken but that makes that rice super filling and then we won't eat a ton of chicken and we'll have some of it left over to do other things so that's kind of my thought process I'm not sure we'll see how I feel that day but we will do some kind of rice and carrots and then on Friday, I'm gonna do my Instapot creamy shells and pasta dish. I have a cooking video for this, so I'll link it up above so you guys can check it out. It is super, super easy. Of course, it's just a one pot meal in your Instant Pot, and within 20 minutes, you have a great pasta dish. So I went ahead and put that on the menu for Friday. 
Saturday I put breakfast and I wrote prep. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make fresh breakfast and then freeze what I have left over because I usually do that every couple of weeks so that I keep my freezer stocked of breakfast food for the kids. But I'm gonna inventory, see how much I have, and maybe we just might eat out of the freezer. Like if there's a lot of pancakes, waffles, I know there's corn muffins in there and blueberry muffins that I've made. And so I just wanna see if it's gonna make sense to eat out of that and do fresh, or if maybe that's the day that I'll make use the croissants. I still haven't used those ones that I got from Costco and make the egg sandwiches. Maybe I'll make the breakfast pizza that day and those little pancake muffins and like film all that for you guys to see and use that for dinner that night. I haven't figured it out yet, but some kind of breakfast is going to go down on Saturday. And then on Sunday is a Valentine's Day. So I originally had pot roast planned and roast beef was on the menu for last week. Well, I defrosted the pot roast instead of the roast beef. Womp womp. So when I took it out to go and cook it, I was like, ah, this can't go in the oven for an hour and a half. This needs to go in the crock pot for eight hours. And so it kind of messed everything up. And so we kind of had to switch it. And so I had to move the meal plan around and everything. So we ended up having pot roast last week. So now this week, we're gonna have the roast beef with mashed potatoes and corn on Valentine's Day, which is fine. That's still like a nice meal obviously we're not going to go out and do anything we're not even going to order out that's not like i have the food in the house it's silly to do that and i even have godiva lava cakes we either got these from costco or sam's a long time ago and it was like 12 in a box and we made one for everyone one time a long long time ago summertime maybe or something like that and we still have six of them left and i thought that would be perfect that means each one of us get a special little godiva cake and i have some whipped cream and stuff and some sprinkles and we'll make little fun desserts for valentine's day and we're just kind of laying low but i am vlogging that day so i'll be sharing that with you guys you know later on that week but that is it you guys for this week's grocery haul and meal plan i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did as always make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you are new hit that subscribe button as i do post a grocery haul and meal plan every monday here on the channel for everybody else you guys i love you so so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye you guys